Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. It is time to do the battle guide, and I tell you what, this is going to be by far the most complicated one we have had to do to date. The Ultra Speaker is definitely worth the title of an Ultra Battle, and it will require, in this particular video, four different taunters, but don't worry, because once you get the hang of it, it's actually not that bad. I would like to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that has helped me with trying to do this battle, and if you would like some help, make sure to join the Ultra Speaker Guardians Discord. I'll put a link down below. There you'll find some really great people who will help you doing runs of this Ultra and of course in that voice chat channel. So if you need a group and a party, make sure you join there. Okay, so let's get into the class setup. You will need a Legion Revenant, a Quantum Chrono, Lord of Order, Paladin Chrono. That is by far the best and easiest way to go about doing this fight at the minute. Everyone will need Body Tonic, Revitalize Alexa, and of course, Scrolls of Enrage. If you don't have Quantum Chrono or Paladin Chrono because you are a free player, you can use Chaos Avenger and Arch Paladin instead. So you can swap them about and see which one you truly prefer. And you can also see all the enhancements that you need. You are able to tweak those a little bit on some of the classes, but if suddenly you start wiping and dying all the time that could well be the reason why if you have gone about changing it up so the taunt rotations will be going through the set on the left if you are free player and running the arch paladin cav you will be using the set on the right you can either pause the screen screenshot or just join the discord channel for the guardians which will be in the comments down below because this will be updated i'm sure from time to time and you'll be able to get the most up-to-date one available okay so important information legion revenant needs to make sure you're using your decay which is skill 2 as soon as the red zone appears this prevents the speaker from healing when it is your turn to taunt you must use scrolls of enrage immediately when the ultra speaker says the q text which will either be truth or listen depending on where you are and if it's not your turn to be in the zone make sure you exit it in plenty of time because otherwise you will cause the team to end up wiping okay so let us begin at the beginning of this fight you do get the intro taunt so that, as you can see the truth text has popped up so i have taunted because i'm the padding chronomancer and i am going first and soon as listen pops up the quantum chronomancer will go ahead and use their scrolls now that is the start phase okay so you do get one zone as you can see that was legion revenant first and now we go through the next set of three taunts up until the next red zone which will be the paladin chronomancer i.e myself going in there so it is just a case as soon as the text pops up you just need to hit the talk button if your class name is against it now when i say it's your zone as you can see the floor has gone red and i have not moved it is because it was my turn to stay there and then i instantly have to take the two taunts after that for listen and truth at this point you're then going through the next set of rotations so we're now moving down to where lord of order will be staying in the middle and we're just going through the taunt cycle up to there so it will be continuum chronomancer currently taunting the truth and the listen and as you can see lord of order is now staying into the middle and they will take that truth taunt as soon as it appears looking at the diagram on the right hand side we're down to where it says loop 2 heading in towards continuum chronomancer in the middle there is a listen and a truth right next to each other that legion revenant will be taking the taunt for and once those ones have cycled through you can expect to see the next red zone appearing and this time like we say continuum chronomancer is in the middle aka quantum chrono depending on what you like to call it okay so as you can see the quantum takes the first two taunts and then to finish off the first complete cycle, it is myself, the Paladin Chronomancer, taking a truth and a listen. Now, because that listen taunt is right before a zone, what you want to do as soon as you've used your scrolls is just get away. Don't worry that it's early. You just need to move out of the way because you will be getting stunned and that red zone will pop up and then you'll just wipe because you'll be stuck there for it. We are now back to the top of loop one. So Legion Revenant just took that zone and we're heading into the Paladin Chronomancer one, which is myself yet again. And the cycle just goes on like this. Just make sure as soon as your text comes up where your name is against it, you're hitting taunt. I've just slowed this part of the video down a little bit it's quite important to point out as you can see in the top right i have both a listen and a true taunt so i've just pressed my scrolls in rage because i've seen you shall listen has appeared and then soon after you will see the truth has also appeared now because this duration of the scrolls in rage i've actually taunted both of them and that's what the graph means in the top right when you see your class against two consecutive shouts from the boss truth and listen as long as you immediately taunt the first shout as it comes through you will be able to grab them both with a single scroll of enrage you don't go doubling up because you're still someone else's taunt it will mess up and then you'll end up wiping Okay, so two very important things we have not yet spoken about is heals and Legion Revenant. Now, Legion Revenant specifically has an incredibly important job to do because they need to apply Decay. So, Decay is from the skill 2 
on the class and it will stop the first speaker from healing. So as soon as you see that red grid appear, you need to hit decay immediately. Otherwise, you'll end up healing like 750k health and it will just prolong the fight even longer. Another part of this battle that is incredibly important is of course going to be the heals. Now, if you are lucky enough to have a Paladin Chrono, healing is not going to be an issue. Skill 3 literally comes around every 4 or 3 seconds and then you have 4 and then you can also apply a rapid heal over time to your team. However, if you're running the free player comp, which would include include Lord of Order and Arch Paladin, then you would just need to think about it a little bit more to make sure you're using those hills in and around when the zone is happening. The hill time of those two classes is often staggered anyway, so you should get aware of it, but it's just something to bear in mind if you do end up running into issues with health. Not to mention, if you are of course running the healer enhancements on whichever paladin class you may have, you'll have a massive endurance boost anyway to survive most of the nukes, so you can just focus on trying to keep your team alive. If you do need to leave the zone early for any reason, don't panic about it as long as it is not your turn to stay in there. You can leave there in plenty of time and still do damage from afar, it's only going to affect a little bit of DPS you're doing to the boss but it won't actually affect the overall battle so just make sure you are clear of the zone if it is not your turn to stay within it. I always end up using spacebar and moving when it's that kind of time just to make sure I have enough clearance. Sometimes I have cut it a bit close and trust me if you cut it really close at the end and mess it up for your team they'll be pretty annoyed at you I'm pretty sure of that so just make sure you clear it in plenty of time and if you see someone else moving away and it's not your turn to stay in the zone, then just go with it. Okay, so Continuum Chronomancer, also known as Quantum Chronomancer, is currently in the middle, so we're now into that last little bit at the bottom of the diagram. Again, it is my double coming up to start with a little taunt. The taunts are really not difficult to time, it's just a case of soon as the first text comes up, in this case for a truth nuke, then I just need to make sure I hit it, and as it is followed by a listen, don't forget to move out of the way before you end up getting stunned and are stuck in the zone. So that was Legion Revenant in the middle and now we're moving down to Paladin Chronomancer in the middle so that'll be myself again and would you believe my last rotation in there so the zone is going to be coming up in a second I'm kind of hovering over the scrolls and rage just ready to launch them because you know what you don't want to mess up right at the end so long as you're prepared you can keyboard the rest of the skills if you need to and there you go you shall listeners up I have hit scrolls and rage and now I have taunted that and the word truth as well afterwards as you can see about 800k to go 600k it feels like I could commentate to race when we're cutting down the end of the last little bit of the fight but just make sure you're going through the rotations don't rush it at the end because trust me when you die on 500k hp it is incredibly frustrating it's not the quickest fight in the world but look at the end of the day you will get there with this comp and it is by far the easiest way to go about it none of us wipe through the battle plenty of health throughout i would definitely strongly advise you to voice chat this with people it's really nice to have people calling out whose time it is in the zone so you can just keep track of of whereabouts you are in the cycle that you can see in the top right hand corner. There is a reasonable amount of gap between the taunts when you're going through this so you are able to actually look over at the diagram if you've got another screen or your phone up just to keep track of whereabouts you are and as we said earlier if you are for some mad reason running stone crusher that is the order that just popped up on screen. My main suggestion to those who are running it in a group where maybe you can't voice chat with each other would be if you just stick your class armors on so everyone can just see which class is where you will be able to physically see who is going inside the zone presuming you haven't hit players and that would be just another way to keep track of where you are on the cycle. Either that you're really good with names and remembering who is running what again that would be another way you could potentially keep it going. Okay folks so as always thank you very much for watching good luck with this battle it is not easy don't worry if you're failing a lot hopefully you will get there eventually and like I said if you do need some extra help and would like to get the battle done join the Guardian Discord link is down below in the comments because they will be more than happy to help you out. However for now it is time for me to say goodbye have a lovely day and I'll see you all again incredibly soon.